it's on the children to know what they want to do at mm -hmm. a certain age. Lack of information about the other, you know, pathways that you could take in life is one of the big barriers that we face. In this documentary, the Family Mosaic Youth Forum will be following three young people as we uncover what choices and options are available regarding education and employment for 17 to 25 year olds. It was my mum actually that saw the magazine, the Connections magazine. She said to call up the number and you never know. Teachers don't give up enough information to the students as in what paths they can take besides university. Uni was always an option that my parents were pushing me to do. I said no, an apprenticeship is what I want to do and that's why I'm here now. If you've got money then you're able to pay the uh, tuition fees, uni fees. If you haven't then you know, you're disadvantaged on all those levels. And they're helping young people to gain experience and also you're getting paid whilst getting the experience. I manage my own money now. I help out with the shopping, with family needs, with the rent. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, I, think it, I feel better. Every Tuesday I'm doing a football session here with Fan Mosaic and different age groups. So today's age group is mostly from between 11 to 12. There was a barrier of trying to get help to fund what my kids want to do. They're both into sports and Family Mosaic has helped me with a bursary to buy the equipment. Because I was playing for Family Mosaic, um, the were recruiting coaches I actually volunteered to do some session stuff and then from there I was hired. I had my coaches, my players, family, friends just telling me, you, like, you're great playing stuff. Like if you're not making, like just have another option. We have youth workers that will work with young people and help them work towards any um, goals that they have, any like an aspiration or or a career aim that they have. Yeah, I've been a football coach for three years now, having just passed my level two. Um, hopefully, working towards my UEFA B, which is the level three. If you believe in yourself that you can do it, I think you can do it. So there's nothing to stop you. The hostel is there to support anyone who has been made unintentionally homeless and they are given a warm bed and somewhere to live. When I was 18, my parents' house was deemed overcrowded. Um, I live with this young man, Daniel, my little boy, and I live with my partner, Alison. All right. I've been wanting to be a chef since I was six years old, so that, that was a dream that I wanted to follow. If you don't have like a route in, if you don't know somebody who works in that field or your family's not well connected, then again, that can prove a barrier. Well, I've been out of employment for about almost well, 10 months or nearly a year now. Um, I'm finding it really hard. And, uh, I'm just hoping at some point within the next couple of months I can find a job and get myself back on my feet again. Every two weeks I sign on at the job centre uh, just to receive a payment. It's the littlest demand, but it gets me through. Family Mosaics helping in many ways, which include housing, youth academy, pathways to work, uh, voluntary work, and helping with like CVs and um, giving young kids opportunities. I'm really proud of him, but he, I'm just, I just hope at some point in the future he can be proud of me for what I've done for him. <laughs> for young people who haven't yet decided on what they want to become or what they want to be, I would probably say that um, just make sure you keep your options open. I do sympathise with people who have not yet followed their dream. The other thing that would be stopping me would be getting childcare for my daughter because of how much it costs. There, there are always other avenues for people to take and if you work hard, university doesn't have to be that route. If you go on to A-levels or university, try and choose subjects that will broaden your pathways rather than kind of restrict you. I don't care where I work, as long as I get to work at least a week of my life. If you work out where your passions are and then just work hard to pursue any avenue into that that you possibly can.